So this the final frame. Final frame of this session, Jimmy White to break. Of this afternoon session. Can Jimmy White stay in touch? <coughs> Stephen just come in to see where he needs to leave the white, the black in the left hand corner, so he's taking this red on. <laughs> what do you say about that, Ray? He can miss. We were beginning to doubt it. One. Yes, and as you said earlier, Red, this is Imperative now Eight. that Jimmy gets a sizable break. Makes Stephen pay for that rather unforced error. Twenty-two. And this is going to be a big shot now if he takes this one on. He's not doing, he's playing the safety shot. Jimmy White, twenty-two. <laughs> again, I think Steve we can just get through to the right hand side of the Reds. Bit of desperation about that shot, but we can make that pay. What a difference that'll make to this match. Still needs a good blue. Looking at the black, but I don't think he'll take it. to the left corner. I don't think so. So uh, this shouldn't be a problem to the right. Seven. Yes, and suddenly that little bit of running seems to have changed. Now Jimmy back in prime position. 
certainly expect an inform Jimmy White to go on now and clinch the frame. He's 34 points in front. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Yes. Jimmy just overhit that one, so he'll be screwing into the reds near the pink now. To hold for the red over the left corner. That bottom red must 35. pass into the corner. So now 56 points in front. 36. Just colour on one more red. Well, surely not. All the space at this end of the table to drop onto a red. Well, as you see there, it's very tight. The one to the right middle. The queuing is awkward. Yes, but Ray, it was a strange choice of shot. He could have stunned the blue between yellow and brown, back down the table for this red over the corner pocket. You only needed the one red. Obviously thinks he can get this. And that's it. That'll make him feel better. Well, I'm sure Jimmy a few moments ago was thinking, here we go again, Stephen Hendry producing his very best form. Feeling of deja vu, we've been here before, but... Well, Stephen will know that uh, he's still got a match on his hands. And Jimmy will take positive thoughts. With him after this uh, end of this session. Okay. Sixty-three. <clears throat> but although the balls were there to be potted, this has been a great effort from Jimmy because he really was facing a six-one deficit, which Jimmy White was really a big one. But nevertheless. He pinches the last frame of this session. He trails at five frames to two. So Jimmy White gets one back, but Stephen Hendry, the defending champion, leads by five frames to two. And our snooker coverage continues this evening on BBC Two at ten. <laughs> against Jimmy White, a rivalry that has dominated Snooker's World Championship since 1990. That was the year Stephen Hendry, just 21, became the youngest player ever to win 
this world title. Hendry won again in 92. He took 10 frames in a row against White to achieve a quite remarkable comeback. And last year, Hendry was virtually unstoppable, beating White with a session to spare. Jimmy White, with three defeats in three finals against Hendry, isn't worried by the record books. It's excellent to be back with another chance. He's got such tremendous character, you know, he seems to be able to just forget what's happened to him in the past, which is a great credit to him. I feel very clear about today's game. Um, I'm not going to rush anything, I'm just going to fight for ball for ball and just, uh, you know, I feel a lot more sort of sure about what I'm going to do today than I have done in the cut of the last two or three years. In the back of my mind, you know, I'd love him to win the championship, you know, he's too good a player not to, but, um, you know, I can't afford them feelings to, to slip into my head during the match. I haven't had the winning feeling yet, you know, you know, I should chase that, you know, until I can't play snooker no more. 99% of the audience probably wanting Jimmy to win it. Um, it's understandable, he's, he's a people's champion without a doubt, but uh, it won't put me off my game. Good evening and welcome to the 1994 final of the Embassy Championship of the World. Here, where else? At the famous Crucible Theatre in Sheffield, the home of the game. Nine frames, a night session, that's the second session of the first day. Here's what happened this afternoon. Jimmy White took the first, but then it began to look ominous, uh, even though it was uh, very early on in this best of 35 frame final, when Hendry took five in a row. But White then got what was for him a vital last frame of the session. So, Jimmy White then, three quarterfinals, three semifinals, and now six finals. Up against Hendry again, the champion who's going for three in a row. <laughs> 